Welcome back. In just a few hours, the House set to vote on a border bill that will rein in the president's power to give illegal immigrants amnesty. But does the bill go far enough to address the border crisis? Joining us now is the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, Congressman Michael McCall. Good morning, Chairman. Morning. Tomorrow, morning. everyone's set to take recess there. Do you believe that this will actually get accomplished? Everyone's going to leave with something signed, sealed, and delivered? Well, the House is going to do its job. This is a crisis that demands action and leadership, and we will provide that today uh, in several ways. One, a message of deterrence. We're going to change the 2008 trafficking law, uh, which basically says that if you come into the United States from Central America, you'll be treated just like we treat the Mexicans uh, with a very swift uh, removal from the United States back to your country of origin, you know, back home in a humane way. And secondly, deploying the National Guard. You know, the governor of my state has already activated the National Guard, but it's the federal government's responsibility under the Constitution to pick up the tab for sure. that. So we will be deploying the National Guard all throughout the southwest border as a border security measure. I think those two right. um, things, you know, the 2008 tweak is important because that will stop the flow coming into the country. Once we send them back, they will stop coming in. Sure. 2012, the president has his dream act. If you got brought here by your parents as a young child, you can stay. You're not going to be deported. 2008, looked at sex trafficking, was misinterpreted. Now, the Senate has their own version. It has $2.7 billion in it. Yours has $650 million in it. You're going to do your thing and amend those laws. But we're, going to, we're wondering here as Americans, what's going to get done? What is Harry Reid going to do with that? Well, I hope for once in Washington we can be responsible and lead in a time of crisis. Uh, and solve problems. And that's what we're doing, you know, as House Republicans on our side. And the money's appropriate, by the way, go towards detention and removal and repatriation back to their countries. No new money. It all comes out of the FEMA d disaster relief fund. You mentioned the, the DACA, the 2012 executive action that, in my judgment, uh, circumvented the Congress. But we're going to rein that one in as well with a vote on the floor, rein that in so that this president. Uh, can no longer do that. The surge really started in 2012 when this executive action sure. uh, was put into place. Exactly. Uh, it was about two hours ago we had uh, the governor of the great state of Indiana, Mike Pence, on this program, Congressman. And he was talking about how he discovered through the news that hundreds of these illegals were being dumped in his state. The government didn't tell him. It was the news media. Here he is. Listen to this. We have obligations, as you mentioned. It's about back to school time in Indiana, but there's also uh, potentially health, other welfare issues that we be, need to be prepared to deal with. And the fact, I mean, it's just completely unacceptable that we read about this in the newspaper. Spiriting people around the country and, and not informing state governments and local officials about, about their placement or long term placement with private individuals or with institutions is not the answer. Well, why is it, Chairman, the federal government isn't telling state governors who are going to be on the hook for school and welfare and food and stuff like that, that they're sending these kids there? I think it's totally irresponsible. And I've had this conversation with the Secretary of Homeland Security. Why aren't you telling us where you're putting these children? Because the governors need to know. Yeah. Uh, the, the county officials need to know. Sure. Uh, this will impact every member's district across the nation. And I think to Mike Pence's point, you know, under state laws, we have to we are required to educate the children. Uh, in these cases, the children I've seen, uh, quite frankly, their native dialect is an, an, an Indian dialect. It's not even Spanish. Uh, they would be put into a special ed uh, type class. You're going to need translators. Yeah, new class. This is this sense. is why we need to stop the flow. That's why our bill, I think, is 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 the answer to stopping this crisis and stopping the flow of these kids coming into the United States. All right, well, it's going to pass in the House. Let's see what happens in the Senate. Clock's sir, ticking. Sure sir, is. thank you very much for joining us live from D.C. Thank you, Chairman. Thanks for having me. All right, coming up.